Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today I'm really excited to show you WP Reset, which is a plugin for WordPress that's going to help you out in certain situations. Now this WordPress plugin is meant for people who develop WordPress plugins, WordPress themes, if you develop sites for clients on WordPress, or maybe you just tweak your own sites from WordPress. Now it's going to save your life in certain situations and the kind of a way to look at WP Reset, it's like that insurance policy that you're paying for your house or your health and you're like you're just paying for it and you hate paying for it but when you use it it's like oh man I'm glad I had this well WP reset is in that sense the same way when you hit that certain situation when you need it it's like I'm glad I had it well I'm gonna show you what WP reset does now the first thing I love about WP reset before we actually head into the options is a file that is created from WP reset when you create when you install WP reset it, it opens up a wizard and it asks you if you want to create this file that's going to save your life in certain situations when you get a blank site on WordPress when you can't log in you can't view your site and you have this option to open this file that's located in your file manager now that this file that you're looking at right now is this right here and what you can do is scan core files and reinstall core files and it also can disable plugins now, why would you want to scan core files? Now, if it finds a corrupt file or a missing core file, it's going to give you the option to actually install it. So if it messes up your site and this fixes it, you're safe, man. If a problem occurs due to a plugin, you can disable plugins from right here or you can disable all plugins. Most of the errors that uh, WordPress has is due to a plugin. So disabling it will help you out. Now, you can do this manually in the file manager, but you can do it right here easier. You can activate the theme if you want to deactivate or activate. You can reset user privileges and roles. You can create an admin account or you can change the WordPress roles from right here. All this is available from the file that's created from WP Reset. Like I said, it's in certain situations where you just can't log into your WordPress site. This will help you out and this will solve it. Now, if you had to pay someone to actually uh, fix this, the cheapest I would uh, you could find is like for 15 bucks and they would fix it. But if not, you could go up to like 100 bucks and over just to solve this issue. Now, with WP Reset, you can solve it by yourself. All right. So now let's jump into the actual settings from WP Reset. And this is the dashboard right here. And you have three options for the reset options. Now I can use this drop down menu to actually let me know what's going to happen when I use WP Reset. Now this is the softest reset from WP Reset, which is the options reset. Next one is a site reset and nuclear reset. Now the check mark means this files that won't be touched. So you can see right here, these files won't be modified. So the software reset will just reset uh, widgets, transients, settings, options, and plugins and themes. So that's basically what it's going to do. It won't touch anything else. So if you just want to reset that, this will work for you. Now, if you want to do a bigger reset, it's site reset. Now, all this is going to be uh, modified, deleted. So it's post pages, comments, media, media files. Oops, not media files, sorry. Users, widgets, transients, uh, data all in WP tables, uh, custom data tables with prefix, all this will be reset. Now, if you need that, that's gonna work right there. Nuclear reset will just reset everything. It's gonna be like a fresh install of WordPress. Why would you need that? Let's just say if you're developing plugins, uh, themes, or maybe you just, you know what, everything's messed up and I wanna start over, this is for you. That'll just reset everything. Let me hide that and to get access to those to actually do it is right here options reset now there's no way to actually do it uh like by mistake because you get like advice right here just say hey you know what are you sure you want to do it you get that option site uh site reset nuclear site reset all oh, that's right here next thing you got are tools tools are really helpful because they save you time it's about saving time with wp reset so you can reset theme options so if you want to just do that you can reset it from here delete transients uh, purge cache delete local data delete content i like this one because sometimes it's useful so for example if i want to delete comments users post types uh, blocks products uh, taxonomies all that is possible right here. So just want to wipe users, you want to wipe post, 
this is the way to do it, saving a whole bunch of time. You can delete widgets from here, you can delete themes from here, delete plugins from here, delete MU plugins and drop-ins, clean upload folders. So in the everything that you upload is in this folder, WP Content Uploads. You can just delete everything from here. Next you got is the clean WP content folder. Be careful if you use this because it's gonna delete all this plugins, themes, uploads. So most of the modified files are here, WP content. This is like, a, you would it, it's actually like a reset from here. So be careful if using that. Empty or delete cups and tables, switch WP version. So in this case, if you wanna try out beta versions of WordPress or maybe you wanna roll back to uh, older WordPress uh, site, uh, sorry, files, you can do it from here and delete HTA access. That's a bill right there. Next thing we have is a really cool option, which is snapshots. Snapshots can be created manually and they can cre be created automatically. I'm gonna show you automatically a little bit later in the settings. So what are these? You can go right here to this right here and you can create a snapshot. So let's just say, you know what? I just finished developing the site. I think everything is fine. I checked the site, I checked the settings, I checked my plugins, everything's working fine. I'm gonna create a snapshot right now. So you can create a snapshot that you know that's a working snapshot. And you can name it whatever you want, and it's gonna be right here. So this one, I created my first one one hour ago. The actions I can do is restart snapshot, obviously. You can compare snapshot to current data. So let's just say you wanna say, hey, what's been modified since my snapshot from right here? And you can see these files have been modified and I can open it and see what's been changed right here. And I can decide to do it or not. And these are my automatic snapshots. These are available if I set it to, in the settings to say, yes, I want to create automatic snapshots. So in this case, when I updated my uh, theme from 233, updated to 255, it created a snapshot. If I up, updated a plugin, it also created one. So 5.30 5 to 5.31, it created a snapshot. So I can set this to uh, do it or not. I think it's a really great option to have. It saves you in a certain situation where something messes up, this will fix it. So let's just say it's actually like a rollback. I mean, if, if your plugin messes up, you can roll back with this. That's available. Next we have, it's a really cool one, is the collections. Now this is a huge time saver. Let's just say, um, for example, in every single site that you install, you upload these plugins and these themes. Like these are your most installed plugins. Let's just say you got Contact Form, Yoast SEO, WooCommerce, and you can set a collection of all the plugins and themes that you use in all your sites, and you can install it. So you can install WP Reset on a brand new site and use the collections that you already have that's in the cloud. Now, this one I call the collection with Woo because this will be for my e-commerce stores. I will be creating another collection that I use with my Divi sites, and I'll have all the plugins that I use right there so I can just install it. Now, how does this look when you upload a brand new file? you can add a new plugin or theme right here. So you got plugin or theme, and you can upload it directly from WP org, or you can do a zip file. A zip file would be a plugin that you install from somewhere else, and it's gonna install it every single time. The difference with one and with the other is like WP org is the file that's gonna grab it from the WP org side. So it's gonna install the latest file every single time. With the zip file, it's gonna install the exact zip file from the other side. It's still a time saver because at the end of the day, you can just update it when you go to plugins. So it's a time saver. Next thing we have is settings. So in settings, this is one of the coolest options that I've seen. It's like the cloud service. You got the option for Dropbox, Google Drive, and P Cloud. These are the options that you can use to auto backup your snapshots into the cloud. So that's it's a safer way to save it that you know you have control of those files. Automatic, you can create automatically snapshots before running WP Reset Tools. So if you if you run a reset tool, it's gonna create a snapshot when you use it. Now heads up, not all snapshot settings are available. When you use one of these snaps, one of the resets, it's gonna say if it's gonna create a snapshot or not. You got automatically create snapshots when doing updates and maintaining plugins and up in themes. Like I told you before, every time I update, I modify a theme, it's gonna create a snapshot. Automatically create snapshots on a set schedule. Now this is still uh, it's still still not available, so it's gonna come in the future. That means it's gonna you can set a schedule to every single day, every week, every month. It's gonna create a snapshot. 
automatically upload new automatic snapshots to the cloud. That means um, when you create a snapshot, it's going to upload it to the cloud. Also still not available. It's going to come soon. So it's going to upload it straight to my pCloud in this case because I use pCloud. Automatically delete automatic snapshots. So in this case, I can delete files, snapshots that are five days older, 10, 30, or 10 or more snapshots saved so you don't want you don't want to like make a whole bunch of snapshots you can delete those or if it reaches a certain file size it's gonna delete them i don't want to delete them so i'll remove that export snapshots tables by tables you can do that also uh show create snapshots action to the administrators in the admin bar so that's this right here and yes i want this available there so those are the options for wp reason so like I said at the beginning, I'm really excited that I showed you this tool because it's super helpful and it's like that lifesaver in certain situations. And it's one of those tools that you're, you're you don't like going to need every single day. And it's like that policy of insurance that when you really need it, you're, like, you're going to say, I'm glad I had it. So that's what WP Reset is going to do for you. If you guys want to grab WP Reset, the link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. My name is George, and this is SaaS Master. See you guys later.